Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today to talk to you about a 2018 reflection. This is the 297 RSTS, standing for Rear Sofa Triple Step. Uh, but for more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Now, contrary to what you might read out there, or somebody might tell you, this is not a 29 footer. I'll have all the specs as well as the pricing down below. Sometimes I misspeak, so uh, that's a way to kind of get the facts. Just check below my video, have all the specifications and so forth. But uh, for any more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. So let's go ahead and start on the outside. So first thing you're gonna notice on the front is the nice big one-piece molded fiberglass cap with the LED lights in it. You're also gonna see you have 30 pound LP bottles as well as a power tongue jack. Moving around to the off door side, you're gonna notice how large the opening is for the front storage. And that is also where you're gonna go ahead and hook your water hose up, your cable and so forth. You do have one pull in there for one of your gray tanks. You have a gray tank uh, for your uh, bathroom and then you're gonna have a gray tank for your kitchen. So you have two different gray tanks which uh, helps you a little bit. And then of course one black tank. Um, but look at all that storage on there. You're gonna have lights, automatic lights. We go back over to the door side and you're gonna see that on this particular side you have uh, your battery disconnect. You're able to go ahead and plug a TV in up through there if you need to. It does have an opening come up from the bottom so you can run that stuff on the outside. Also you're gonna notice you have, a, um, you're gonna have an awning all over your door area. You're gonna have also on the off door side when you look up underneath you're going to see you have an area for your sewer hose and i'll show you why that is put there instead of uh, where mo most people put them notice you also have electric stabilizers so you can have a button for this side well for the front and then one for the back also on the back side what you're going to notice on the rear of your camper you're going to notice you don't have a bumper you're going to have a uh, hitch receiver as well as the ladder to get up on your roof if you need to, and then it is wired and framed for a rear observation camera. Now on the door side as well, you're gonna have, and I wasn't able to get you any um, pictures from this, hopefully I'm able to uh, find some for you, but you're gonna have an outside refrigerator with a little area where you can fix some things, as well as an outside TV, that'll be on your door side. And the awning is rather large, it will cover that slide out. So, now that you've had the opportunity to kind of look at the outside, let's go ahead and let's show you what the inside looks like. Let's start. So as you come in the door, what you're going to be doing is, right as you come in the door behind this panel right here, this is where you will go ahead and use this as your convenience center. Check all your levels, your awning, awning lights, step light, water pump, water heater, put your slides out, everything is right there. And you still have access to storage above it. They've done a nice job on how they do this. You can see how they're not taking away um, much space for you. So that's all you need there. Now here in this particular area, what you're gonna notice is you have 110 outlets on both bottom left and right. You're also gonna have the USB 12 volt con uh, connection there. Charge your phones that way using the battery. Power vent fan, I'll show you what that is later, as well as your thermostat. So that is all real nice. That is your nice little um, hutch, if you want to call it that. Move it around to your dinette. This is a freestanding dinette. You can get it with a booth dinette. But again, keep in mind, watch all the outlets that I point out. You're going to have one that's down here behind your... Um, the table back there, there's a freestanding chairs. Two of them are going to be folding chairs. If you want to put those under, the, under your bed, you can do that. And then look at all those windows you have here. So these are the windows you have all through here. So next thing you're going to have is you're going to have your theater seating, as you can see here. And that's going to have uh, lighting in the cup holders, as well as a massage and heat. Um, you're also going to have 110 outlets on either side of the sofa here. 
down, down by the floor. And nice little end tables on the end there. Then of course, as you can see, you have this trifold sofa on the back and nice big windows. Let me show you how this sofa opens up. Okay, so to open the sofa, what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the two cushions. You set those over here. Now they can be put back to the back side of the bed after you open it up if need be. Use that to uh, do it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to lift in the middle. And by the way, this can be done, you know, seven-year-old child could do this as well. It's very light, very easy to do, and it makes a good size bed. Like I say, if you want to take those uh, cushions and put them back here again, you could. Then you could sit up against them. But that's how easy it opens up. Nice, comfortable bed. You don't have any of those poles in the, in, the, in the middle of your back or anything. Just go ahead and put the middle back in the back. When you're going to put it away, this just opens up. As such, back down. And then it's just a matter of putting the cushions back in place. It is that, it's that simple. So the next thing you're going to see is directly across from your theater seating is going to be your uh, fireplace, TV. Of course, stereo with a DVD player, Bluetooth is up on top there. And then, of course, you're going to have another outlet here on the end. You have outlet on either side of your island. Notice how also on the floor there is something missing. You have nothing on the floor here. And that is your heat ducts. Because what they've done with the heat ducts is they have them coming out from your island here. It's being blown in underneath as well as through the walls into your bathroom and into the front into the bedroom area. Looking in your kitchen, you can see you're going to have your nice Dometic uh, RV refrigerator. Really nice counter space back on the back over here. And take a look at how deep these drawers are and notice how it is all wood, four-sided wood. They're using real wood. And then of course you have storage down below here, but lots of counter space. And then of course for the, uh, for the oven, you have this blue light that can turn on. This is the Furion oven, three burner cooktop, flush mounted. And then look at all the space you have inside. That is adjustable and so forth. But that's all good size oven. Also notice that you have a window here and the benefit of having that window there is when you're cooking, you can open that window up. And I talked to you about that power vent fan. It's right here. That's just going to pull the air from the cooking and so forth and through that window and bring it right on out of the camper. Above it, you're going to see you have a convection microwave. Again, I, I say this every time, a lot of your low-end campers don't give you a convection when you have an oven. They'll just give you a regular microwave. Now, this thing can be used three different ways. You can use it as a microwave. As you can see, you could use it as a convection or a combination thereof, meaning you can use it part um, convection, part microwave for you. On the back side, you're going to notice you have a GFI outlet there, nice drawers, and again, the drawers, full extension drawer glides, roller bearing, just like residential. Your sink is going to be a one-piece sink, and it is large, nice and deep. And of course, you've got the nice solid surface uh, tops. Notice also that your island color of the wood is different than the rest of your kitchen. This is what they do in the, in the uh, you know, half million, million dollar homes. But what they do is they tie it in with the accents on your wood, on the wood trim. They do a phenomenal job. Above the sofa, you're going to notice you're going to have uh, additional um, storage. So you have tons of storage in this uh, trailer, as well as lots of windows. Let me just give you a, a look at, at this sitting in this particular location. Kind of let you see what there is. Of course, you can see the skylight above the island. You can see you have the AC here. Now, this is a 50 amp coach, so you're able to put a second AC, if you wish, into the bedroom. Now, let's go on down and take a look at the bathroom. First thing you're going to notice is you go down the hallway. There is a sensor light up in the ceiling. You can set that to come on for motion, or you can have it on all the time, or you can just shut it off. But the nice thing you're going to notice is a pocket door for the bathroom. That way, there it is not in the way when it's open. Take a look at your sink with the drawers, your outlet, nice me size medicine cabinet. I mean, there's a good size medicine cabinet in here. 
You have another sensor light inside the bathroom. Also notice how they have the towel holder already there. Little hand towel holder as well as other towel holder here. Plenty of space for that toilet area. Notice the heat duct coming out from underneath the, the shower. More um, medicine cabinet space. And look at how big that shower is. And it has, you know, for those that are taller, nice uh, tub surround and glass doors. Going into the bedroom, what you're going to notice, of course, this is a real queen bed, 60 by 80 residential. Now look at how much space you have underneath there, and look at how high the bed gets out of the way. So that gives you your storage there. On both sides of your bed, you're going to have storage. You see how deep and you can hang shirts in there. Then, of course, behind your bed here, you have little lights, reading lights if you want, and 110 outlets as well as nice large storage up above your bed here gives you i mean they utilize every bit of the space up here of course windows on both sides now that is an emergency window but you can still use it then of course on the on that side you're going to have access uh, to either storage or you can go ahead and put your washer dryer in there and then look at how again you've got the large drawers down below and your heat duct as well as another outlet below that. Then the TV would be directly across from you here. And if you decided that you wanted to put an AC in here, that is where your air conditioner would go. You'd have additional cooling power for this camper. So let's go walk back out here, take a look and see. One last look at what this camper looks like. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is your 2018 Reflection. This is a 297 RSTS. And the RS stands for rear sofa. And the only thing I can think of as far as the TS stands for triple steps for your entry. Uh, but uh, for more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by and ask for Paul the Air Force guy, check out my other videos. I've got a, a vlog that I do on Sundays. I've got how-to videos as well as product recommendations. If uh, for whatever reason your group, if you have a camping group, you'd like to have somebody come and speak uh, about campers uh, or anything related to camping, by all means reach out to me. We'll see if we can line something up. I appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're watching. And we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.